whether that be by enticing a hummingbird with nectar or a jay with the fruit that they produce. The birds will come in, eat something of the plant. They're taking the seeds and carrying it somewhere else, so they're dispersing the seeds. That gets into the soil somewhere, and then new plant grows somewhere else. And so that's how plants can spread their range. Some plants have specifically evolved to only be pollinated by like one specific animal. And so in cases where that sort of thing is lost or broken via one element going extinct, the entire rest of the ecosystem is majorly affected. This is before climate change, human exploitation of the environment. I think it helps to certainly appreciate the relatedness how much things affect each other or come to you know, rely on each other. Incorporating nature into how you think about the world shapes the way one interprets and thinks about things like economic systems, political systems, social systems, etc. It's a bigger way of being more holistic in your thinking. I'm an organism on the planet and I'm very much dependent on these other organisms and I affect those things as well. The notion that we are removed from nature needs a reframing because we are not, and even if you do consider yourself as removed from it, you're still affecting it. You cannot have good environmentalism or effective environmentalism without taking into consideration the people who are on the ground affected by it and how those differences in the environment have been shaped by human social structures. So if you really want to rectify or address problems in nature, you can't do it without thinking about those people and how they will be affected and getting, ideally getting them involved in helping to solve those issues or resolve those issues. Different groups and ecosystems of birds living and in many ways sort of depending on one another and other things in their environment. I think we can take that lesson to human diversity and interrelationships and codependencies that we have or should have with each other. Birding is definitely the pastime that allows me to re-engage with the sensory part of just being outside, even if it's, say, the built environment, because there's still nature around. Life is still going on around you.